And good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Welcome back. Reading uh, here, just kind of going over some of the stuff I'd written in my book, Blast from the Past, part of the special offer I'm making here on Who Is This Babylon and Blast. Have more to say about that here in a moment. <clears throat> Welcome back. My name is Don K. Preston. I am the president of Preterist Research Institute of Ardmore, Oklahoma. This is what I call my morning musings. Appreciate you being with me. We are currently discussing, have been for a few uh, sessions now, the identity of the land beast, Revelation 13. Uh, who is this land beast? I have suggested to you that the land beast is none other than Babylon. The land beast joins with the sea beast in persecuting the saints. And when we look at the correlation in Revelation chapter 17, uh, the land beast equates to Babylon, who is in this partnership of persecution with the sea beast, but then the sea beast turns on the land beast, Babylon, and destroys her. Well, as Babylon, the great question therefore becomes, well, let's see, the question becomes, who is this Babylon? And I want to look at the identity of the land beast from the perspective of the vindication of the martyrs. You know, it's so strange to me that many, many commentators completely overlook the absolutely pervasive, dominant theme of Revelation, and that's martyr vindication the, the vindication of the martyrdom of Jesus. You know, John is told this is the revelation of Jesus Christ. And it is revealed that this judgment against Babylon would be in the vindication of the death of Jesus because it's the judgment of the city, quote, where the Lord was slain. This is all about Jesus and the vindication of his suffering. Now, in that light, take a look at Revelation 1, verse 7. Behold, he comes with the clouds, and every eye shall see him, and all the tribes of the earth shall mourn. And notice this, even those who pierced him. Do you catch that? This coming of the Lord in the book of Revelation would be in vindication of the suffering of Jesus at the hands of Babylon. So the question is, who killed Jesus? Well, it was the land beast. It was Babylon. It's the city where the Lord was slain. Now look how this conflates and agrees perfectly when, with Jesus on trial. Pilate declares Jesus innocent of all charges. And he said, I wash my hands of the blood of this innocent man. By the way, notice that Acts chapter 4 says, citing the Psalms, Why do the heathen rage? Why do the people imagine themselves against the Lord and against his anointed? And the kings of the earth rise up against him, saying, Let us cast off his bonds. Here are the Jews in conspiracy with Pilate to kill the Lord. The Jews are the movers and the shakers of that death of Jesus. But when Pilate exonerates himself, washes himself from the blood of Jesus, the Jews cry out, let his blood be on us and on our children. Well, as I point out in my book, who is this Babylon? The answer to the Jews' declaration, let his blood be on us and on our children, is found right here in Revelation, in judgment of the land beast, the city where the Lord was slain. It's fascinating that the book of Revelation focuses on the judgment of that city more than anything else more than anything else. This is about the vindication of the death 
of Jesus at the hands of the Jewish leaders when they themselves cried out, let his blood be on us and on our children. Revelation is God saying, you asked for it, you're getting it. Look, I developed that and a whole lot more in the book, Who is This Babylon, as well as Blast from the Past, The Truth About Armageddon. Normally $4.95 plus $4.95 shipping, regularly $19.95 plus $4.95 shipping. You can have both of them for a total of $20 postpaid. Go to my website, www.eschatology.org or BibleProphecy.com. Send me an email. Say, Don, I'd like to get that special offer you're making on YouTube and Facebook about Blast and Babylon. All right? And I'll give you directions on how to pay for it. Thanks much, so much for joining me for this morning's Morning Musings. We have more on the identity of the land beast as Babylon and the vindication of the martyrs. You don't want to miss it. God bless. We'll see you on the flip side.